Okay, so now we've got the integral of sine 8x times cos 5x dx. So this integral is easy once we figure out that we can use identity. That is, when you have sine of, say, a, and that's multiplied by cos of b, where those are constants, that is going to be equal to 1 half of sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. Okay, so, and in this case, we'll just use that a is going to be equal to 8x from above here, and we're going to use b is equal to 5x. And then we've got this perfect form above in this equation. Okay, so now our integral is going to become, so we have sine of 8x cos 5x originally, dx. And now with that identity, that's going to be equal to, if we pull the 1 half out of the integral, it'll be sine of 8x plus 5x, which is um, 13x, plus sine of 8x minus 5, which is 3x dx. And so when we do that integral, that's going to be equal to 1 half of, so the first one will be negative 1 over 13 times cosine of 13x. And the next one is going to be negative 1 over 3 cosine of 3x. And then we have to add on a constant because it's an indefinite integral.